Hey guys, it's Charlie Wood. We're out here at my hunting property and I've got something really cool, a new gun that I wanted to show you. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to show it the way I wanted to. Now I'm out here, you can see the sun is just coming up. I mean, it's, it's gonna be hot. If you saw several years ago, man, I was 40 pounds heavier and I did a summer overnighter video where I tested one of my get home bags to see if I could last overnight. I'll post the link in the description below. It didn't turn out the way I expected. Anyway, it is July down in middle Georgia and it's already 80 degrees and probably as much humidity. It's, it's gonna be nasty. Anyway, got the steel target set up at 200. I wanted to hunt on our power, excuse me, uh, shoot on our power lines where I can shoot up to five, 600 yards. But when I pulled in this morning, there was an abandoned car blocking the, uh, the gate to get into the, the power lines, which is part of our property. There's a thousand acres here, um, so that sucks. Inside of camp, the most I can shoot is 200. So I'm gonna put a target at 100, target at 200, and we'll make it work. Let's get it set up. All right, so let's address the elephant in the room right up front. This is a bucket list gun for many people. Um, it's highly flexible. It can shoot anywhere from 308, 65 Creedmoor, all the way up to 338 Lapua on this same frame. The barrels are easily swappable, um, but it is pretty expensive and it's almost a, a, a cost prohibitive for most people. Um, and that's kind of why I call it a bucket list gun. As I've been sharing this on social media, on Instagram and Facebook, a lot of people have expressed that they've seen videos on it and they love it and they just wish they could afford it. And quite frankly, so do I. So in full transparency, Desert Tech did send this to me. I do not get to keep this thing. It's just something for me to show to you guys and give my opinion on. You may have a use case for it, you may not. You may not be able to justify this kind of cost. Um, again, some people are gonna like the fact that they can go from 308 for, you know, kind of some short range hunting with, you know, whitetail and stuff like that, all the way out to 338 Lapua Mag, and obviously reach much, much greater distances. Today, I have the barrels for the 308, which is the 16 inch barrel, and the 6.5 Creedmoor. Now, I have a six and a half inch suppressor on here, but look how short this thing is. 10 and a half inch SBR and a 16 inch, basically full length barrel. They are, this is fully collapsed all the way down and it is two and a half, maybe three inches shorter. So from there to there, 10 and a half inch barrel, 16 inch barrel. And a lot of you are gonna say, well, I still can't stomach the cost. I get it. Um, I was very apprehensive until I sighted this thing in. So I got it just as you see it, obviously without the silencer on the end of it. and. Um, on my range at home, I sighted this thing in. They promised half MOA groups on their website. And within the first 10 rounds, I was doing 0.75. First time I ever shot the platform, right? Obviously I had to dial the scope in a little bit, but first time I ever shot it, 0.75 inch groups at 101 yards. And I was like, all right, all right, I'll give you a chance. emailed the guy and I was like, I'm a believer. <laughs> like this is, this is impressive. If I put another half a box or, or a box through it, half them away all day. Um, let's talk about this. A lot of people say that you can't buy your way to being a better shooter. That, that's not true. It's, it's simply not true. Obviously there are, you, you do need training. You need to practice, right? But you put a quality optic on a quality rifle with quality ammunition, I can make anybody a better shooter. I bet you I can get my wife out here on this thing and she would put one and a half inch groups in the first box of ammo. Guarantee it. She's a better shot than me anyway. All right, enough talking. Let's put a few down range. I got another camera set up here and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see a little vapor trail on this. We're gonna go out to that steel at 200. Yeah. Hmm. Just a little low left.
can hear that ripple through the air. Ooh, nice. Here's a look at the magazine. This one's for the 308 and 65 Creedmoor, but these magazines can be for all, all right? Now, obviously, not this one, but it's the same magazine that works for all of those calibers. And basically you see this, this backer plate right here. Depending on the caliber and the ammo that you have to use, you'll buy different magazines where that backer plate is in different positions for the size of the ammo. Let's talk about the action area for a minute. Um, it does take some getting used to. The gun is unloaded, but it does take some getting used to that the action, the bolt, is right next to your face. Now, you can run it without hitting your face. It's no problem. Um, I find that I have a little bit of a learning curve, though. Let me take these earphones, earplugs out. Um, it took me some getting used to it, though, to remember to keep your eye focused. The other thing is the trigger. The trigger is beautiful on this. It is, I'll, I'll put it on a, on a, a pull, pull meter here and I'll roll in that footage. I'm gonna guess it's right at two, maybe 2.3, 2.5 pounds, somewhere in there. Very, very crisp. There's no take up to it. Let's make sure we're unloaded. Fire. Look at this, you're already at the wall. Whew. The safety. I like it, but it scared me as I was getting used to this. Here's why. Um, what I did was I ran the bolt home, round was in the chamber, and I went to pull the safety back and my finger came in here. And I was like, oh, you get that butt pucker kind of factor. And now I'm just very purposeful in, in my selector manipulation, right? And then last, let's talk about this grip. You can see it's, it's substantial. Um, it feels good at the top, right up here, it, and I have large size hands, so if you wear gloves and you wear large size gloves, we can hold hands, right? Um, this part down here, it, it's not uncomfortable, but it is a little thick. What I would have loved to have seen is if this was compatible with AR-15 kind of mil-spec grips. There may be an internal reason why that's not possible, I don't know, uh, but I just would have loved that kind of flexibility. And then on the back here is this monopod, so you pull down and it retracts. You pull down again and it pops out, all right? And then you can fine adjust it by twisting the top of it here to get your kind of fine elevation adjustment. God, it's easy. The safety and the mag release are both ambidextrous too. So if you're a lefty, you're good to go. Let's see if we can catch these really cool smoke rings that are coming out of the suppressor. Keep an eye on the end of the barrel. There's one. <laughs> See if we can do that half inch group. I just ran back here, probably not. I dialed it in for 200, so I'm way high, but I'm gonna hold same point of aim. Ah, uh, nope, I pulled that. <laughs> no, I didn't. Mm. Let's go look. Do one more, and we're going to switch these bar this barrel out. Yeah. 
Mm, God, it's close. All right, let's talk about barrel swaps on this thing. You see these four holes right here. So there's this provided tool, and then there's also a lock on this other side, and I'll show you that in a second. But all you need to do is break those screws, those uh, bolts loose. And what we're gonna test here, I'm not actually gonna swap the barrel. I'm going to see if it returns to zero. Okay, barrel's out. Slide it back in. Move this back to locked. Okay, last time we shot, we were about four inches high and center. Mm. Hold that one just a little low. And a little left. That's me. It's basically right back in the same spot though. Right, let's do a little 6.5. All right, six, five, and we're going loud because I forgot the tool for the break there. I'm not gonna bore you guys with a bunch of this. I just did wanna show you the interchangeability of it. Make sure we get it. And uh, how fun it is. Mm, that might be my half inch group. I'm way off because I hadn't even sighted this in and literally threw the new barrel in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this camera just so you can see this. Let's walk down here. That might be my half inch. I'll fast forward so you don't have to sit through this. Okay, point of aim was here. Um, four inches high and left. Uh, still might not be my half inch. I'll throw a caliper on it when I get home and see. That one's at 0.75. And that is why people pay a lot of money for this. Just literally swap the barrel out um, four inches high and left, dial this in, and you're shooting 6.5. How freaking cool is that? Let's go to steel. 200. Oh, <laughs> missed the last one. Damn it, I thought that was gonna be a cool segment. <laughs> if you've never shot a bolt gun, there's just something primal about it. Racking that bolt, um, you know, putting, putting shots on steel at 200, 300, 400 yards. I really wish I could have gone to the power lines today, man. That car, I pulled in, it was 5.30 in the morning, it was still dark and I didn't want to approach the car. I don't, I don't know if somebody's in there doing something, whatever, because we're, we're back in the middle of nowhere on this, this shooting property. Um, what do you guys think, man? The Desert Tech SRS A2 Covert model, that bullpup design. It does have an adjustable cheek riser. Um, the way that you switch out for other calibers is pretty simple. There's these tangs on the back here. You can remove these back pieces. Your bolt comes right out the back use a new barrel, new magazine, new bolt, 
and you're good to go. You know, the 6.5 and the 308, same setup, don't need to change anything. But if you wanna go up to some of those other calibers, you certainly can. Lots of different calibers to choose from. Can't put a link in the description below. It's against YouTube's policies, so we're gonna, we're gonna play nice there. But um, you can find it. And the weight of this thing, you're not gonna go running through the jungle with your M16 on this one, all right? This thing, uh, it's, these barrels are big, heavy bull barrels for that accuracy. I mean, they're fluted to take some of the weight out. Um, but this thing, it's, you know, it's substantial. This is a, this is a sit still gun for sure. Although I say that the guy that, um, I'm working with at Desert Tech, he did an elk hunt with this thing and you know, he's, he, he managed it he got him, he got himself an elk in the, the hills of Utah. So I guess it can be done. It's just, you know, how bad do you want it? it? It's got a little bit of weight to it, but throw a sling on it, you know, stick it down in your bag. Not much else I can say about it. The website is pretty sick. You can build your gun. It comes in different color combinations and you literally, it's this parts builder. So as you're making selections, the gun, it shows you what you're building. It swaps parts in and out and literally you see what you're ordering. So very nicely done website. I don't know what else to say about it, man. I, I, I mentioned you get yourself a quality gun, a quality optic and quality ammunition, and you can make a lot of first time shooters really, really good. And so take it for what it's worth, guys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, kind of a bucket list gun for a lot of us. I hope to be able to, to get my hands on one one day. If you just get it with you know one barrel, one setup, like what I have here, it's about the equivalent of a high dollar AR-15. So I don't think that's unreasonable. I mean, obviously the optic's gonna add another $1,500, $2,000, but I don't think it's unreasonable to pay three grand a little bit north of for something like this that then gives you the potential down the road to add on other calibers if you so choose. I'll give you an example. I usually hunt whitetail here at this property with a 308. But when I went to Montana to do that elk hunt, I, I couldn't use the 308. So I had to go out and buy a 300 uh, Winchester short. And if I had just had something like this, I could have had both of those in the same platform. So there you go. There's your, there's your justification for it. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you did like it, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I do new videos. I'll see you in the next one.